Okay, great. So today we will talk about the International Academic Mobility Programs. And uh, let me introduce myself and my colleague. Uh, my name is uh, Dasha Sanchkina. I'm the head uh, of the Student Mobility Office. And my colleague, Elizaveta, she's the manager. And mostly you'll be in touch with Elizaveta. She will um, help you with all your questions and all procedures. So uh, what is academic mobility? Uh, this is a great opportunity for you uh, to study abroad for one semester or a full academic year uh, at our partner university. And um, uh, the advantage of this is that you don't pay uh, for your uh, study experience at the host university. Uh, moreover, you can earn ECTS credits uh, and transfer your um, uh, scores and marks uh, to HEC. And uh, mostly all classes are in English language. Um, so there are two types uh, of um, academic mobility, uh, long-term mobility and short-term mobility. Uh, if we speak about long-term mobility, um, we have a semester and a year-long exchange. Uh, you can apply. Um, um, you can apply to our call at Saint Petersburg, and you can also apply at Moscow call. Uh, and um, you have also the possibility to participate in the double degree programs, and you can be a free mover. Uh, later, I will tell more about uh, what does it mean to be a free mover. Um, as for the second type of mobility, uh, short term, a student can participate in the summer and winter schools. Uh, so uh, the topic of the winter and summer schools uh, should be uh, uh, relevant to your major uh, in order to transfer your credits. Um, but you can also participate in the language summer schools. So uh, why do you uh, need this experience and uh, how it will be useful for you? Um, first of all, you will study at a top university for free. So you won't pay the tuition fee at the host university. Uh, as I have mentioned, you can transfer your ECTS credits. Uh, moreover, uh, you can find uh, new friends and business partners from all over the world because uh, you will study uh, in the groups uh, with um, other exchange students. Uh, you will learn more about the new culture um, because um, you, will, you will have time uh, to discover uh, new sides of this culture. And um, you can also know the difference in educational systems and um, also you can enrich your CV and uh, diploma supplement uh, with this experience. Um, we have a site which is called Study Abroad Opportunities. So um, uh, you need to check this site because uh, there you can find all necessary information about the programs, um, fact sheets, uh, deadlines, and also you will submit your application documents uh, via this um, uh, site. So who can apply? Um, state funded and fee paying students can apply. So it doesn't matter if you pay for your tuition fee at HC or not. Um, and by the way, I want to mention that, uh, for example, if you are a fee paying student and um, you're going to take part in the exchange next semester, for example. So you still need to pay for at HEC, um, but you don't pay uh, at the host university. Uh, also, Russian citizens and international students can um, apply for the exchange. Uh, again, it doesn't matter uh, what is your citizenship. Uh, uh, what matters? So uh, you need to uh, pass at least four exam sessions uh, if you are a bachelor degree student and you need to pass at least uh, one exam session uh, if you are a master degree student. And postgraduate students can also apply uh, the spots available. So what are the requirements? Uh, of course, uh, good academic performance, uh, knowledge of English, it should be at least B2 and later uh, you will see that you need to submit the confirmation of your um, level of English. Um, also, uh, if the host uh, institution uh, requires other international language certificates, uh, you should um, confirm your level. Uh, no failed exams is important. And uh, prefer preference is given to students who have not yet participated in the exchange programs. Um, but um, what does it mean? So if you have uh, taken part in the exchange uh, before, uh, you still can apply 
for the exchange program, uh, but uh, you will be in the waiting list. So um, we will consider first the applications of students who um, don't have such kind of experience and um, uh, only after uh, these kind of applications, uh, uh, we will consider uh, other applications. Um, uh, about the scholarships. So unfortunately, so far, uh, we don't have, HEC um, doesn't offer any scholarships uh, for, for the students, but you can find uh, third party scholarships. Uh, you need to do, uh, you need to do this research by yourself. Um, how much you will spend? Uh, so um, you won't pay the tuition fee at the host university, but you should keep in mind uh, that uh, uh, you will pay for other expenses like personal expenses, visa fees, travel costs, documents, delivery, accommodation, and so on. Um, here you can see the page from our website, which is called Study Broad Destinations, and here you can find different signs. So what does it, what does they mean? Um, if it's written no available spots for spring semester, fall semester, um, uh, uh, it means that uh, this university is not available and you can't apply uh, for this university. Uh, if you see, um, sorry, can you please? Uh, Turn off your. I think she show that it's uh, like the Telegram group. Or something. Uh, it's recording. Maybe they can see you. One second. So, uh, if you can see uh, the sign early deadline. For Telegram, Okay. Uh, um, guys, can you please turn off your mic because we can hear you? Okay, so if you can see the sign early deadline, uh, it means that uh, uh, you need to submit your documents by this date. Uh, if you don't see any signs, so everything is good, you have time till the end of the call, and um, uh, yes, you can submit your documents. Okay. One second. How to apply? So as I have mentioned, there are uh, two calls. Uh, in Russian, we call it a uh, concourse. So HEC University White Call and HEC St. Petersburg Call. Uh, HEC University White Call is operated by our colleagues from uh, Moscow. And here you can see also the website um, uh, links uh, where you can find the list of the partners and their email and our call. Um, the same, you can see uh, all the information, email and links. Uh, you can apply um, uh, in our call and also you can apply uh, in HC University wide call. And uh, if, for example, um, you get uh, the offer from our colleagues and from us, you just need to choose uh, where do you want to go. Yes, please, and mind the early deadlines as well. So as for the documents, uh, the first um, one is the formal application. It's an um, obligatory document. And uh, the first part will be filled in by you. So here you need to um, think very good about your priorities. You have the possibility to apply for three universities. And uh, please keep in mind that um, if um, um, for example, uh, you choose the university as the first priority, it means that uh, uh, we will check your uh, documents um, at the first time. Um, the second part will be filled in by uh, your study office. And uh, from this second part, we'll take your average uh, cumulative grade and we will use it um, uh, in order to analyze your application. The formal application should be signed by your study office and it should be approved by your academic supervisor. Uh, the second obligatory document uh, is, um, is uh, your individual study plan. So um, you need to take uh, at least uh, 18 STS credits uh, if you apply for the semester exchange. And uh, also it should be approved by your academic supervisor and your study office. And um, 
pay attention to the fact that uh, usually it takes uh, at least uh, one week to approve this uh, study plan. Uh, so don't do it um, um, in the last uh, few days. And um, for the individual study plan, uh, you need to check um, the university and check the courses that will be next semester. Uh, you need to check your courses and uh, uh, you need to compare uh, study plans and uh, choose uh, uh, what you can um, take. Um, and later the um, uh, scores uh, for these courses will be transferred here at HEC. Uh, we don't have the sample of the individual study plan, but uh, you can uh, make a draft in Excel file and um, um, send it to your study office and then study office uh, will give you comments about it and uh, you will um, go on uh, with it. Uh, one more document, expenses estimation form. So. Um, also pay attention that it should be signed by you. Uh, we don't check the prices uh, that would be mentioned in this form, but um, mostly this document is for you because you need to understand that uh, um, um, exchange experience is quite expensive and you need to understand how much money you will spend for rent, transportation, um, other expenses, visa, A tickets. Uh, one more document is motivation letter. Uh, it should be written in a free form. Um, the samples you can find in the internet, uh, what should you mention in the motivation letter is that um, why do you want to participate in the exchange program? Uh, why it is important for you? Uh, maybe tell a little bit about your background and so on. Uh, we don't give this course for the motivation letter, uh, but um, still it's important and um, uh, yes, you need still to upload this. Language proficiency certificate. Uh, there are different uh, ways how you can confirm your um, language level. For example, if you have the official international certificate, it's great. Uh, mostly now the universities uh, that we have on our list um, uh, don't require this. But if you have, it's good. Uh, if you don't have, what um, can it be? It can be HEC independent English test. Um, it can be different certificates from the language schools. And it can be um, or pass. Uh, uh, the sample you can find on our website and it can be signed uh, by English teacher, by any English teacher. Just um, maybe you will be given some tests and then uh, if you pass them successfully, the teacher um, will give you the score. So, what else? Uh, you can also provide some supplementary documents um, for your extracurricular activities. For example, you have been a volunteer or uh, you have been uh, a very active uh, participant of any student club. Uh, you can get scores for this. Um, actually, we have um, the guide uh, where you can find this chart and where you can find uh, for what you can uh, get the score. Um, after the webinar, we will send you this recording and also the presentation, so you will have everything. Um, apart the extracurricular activities, you can also get the scores for the research activities and maximum is two score. Uh, we can give you this um, score for the article or um, for your participation in the scientific conference. Uh, moreover, teaching assistant position. So for this, we give uh, one score and uh, um, you need uh, to get the improvement from your professor. Uh, and this confirmation should be signed um, by the professor. Uh, also, you can get uh, one score uh, if, um, for example, uh, let's imagine that uh, you're going to Italy and uh, you want uh, to take um, uh, the course of Italian language. So uh, if you take the course of Italian language, um, the level should be at least B1. Uh, and it means that you need to show the certificate that you have um, uh, the level of Italian language at least A2. Um, another situation, for example, again, you go to Italy and you want to take uh, the course in Italian language. So 
this course in Italian language should be at least B2. And you need to provide the certificate that you have uh, B2 level uh, of Italian language. And for this, you will get one score. So one more time, uh, we take the cumulative average grade. Then we add uh, this course uh, for your uh, English language. Um, if um, your program is completely in English, you will um, get B2 automatically. Just you need to get the confirmation from your study office that your program um, is English taught. Uh, if you want to get more scores, then uh, you need to show us the certificate that, for example, you have C1 level, and for this you will get one score. Uh, then uh, we can add some scores for your extracurricular research and teaching activities, and we can uh, add uh, one score for the individual study plan. Again, uh, for the language course or for the course in the language of the host university. Okay, so uh, what's the timeline? Uh, step number one. So you need, of course, to make a decision and uh, you need to choose the university and program uh, for what uh, you can apply. Um, check our website. Step number two. Um, uh, you need to prove this choice with your study office and academic supervisor. What does it mean? It means that your formal application and your individual study plan should be signed by your study office and academic supervisor. Mm -hmm. Step number three. Um, you need to prepare all necessary documents and apply uh, online on time. Mind the early deadlines. Step number four. Please wait the result. Uh, approximately it takes us one month um, to check everything. Mm -hmm. Step number five. Um, then, uh, if you pass, you receive the result of your application uh, to your email. Check the spam folder as well. Uh, if you don't pass, um, uh, you will still receive the email from us, and maybe we can offer other opportunities for you. Uh, there is a high probability that there will be additional call after the main call, uh, but I really advise you to take part in the main call because uh, in this way uh, you have more choice and possibilities. And final step, um, you start preparing for the departure. Um, yes, and then you will have uh, your exchange experience. Um, so uh, this is our group in VK. Uh, I really advise you to sign up for our group. Uh, we post uh, the useful information. Uh, our email, you can also book a Zoom consultation. And uh, here our website uh, where you can find all the information. Um, yes, and uh, I promise you to tell more about the free mover. Um, what does it mean to be a free mover? Uh, if, for example, you want to go to Europe and you can't find the European University among the list of our partner universities, uh, you can still apply as a free mover. Uh, one second. You can still apply as a free mover. Uh, what does it mean? It means that uh, you will need to pay for your tuition fee, unfortunately, because this university is not our partner anymore. Uh, and um, uh, what else? Uh, you will need to um, contact uh, our colleagues from this university by yourself. So our international office can help you if you have questions, but mostly uh, all work will be done by you. So you will need to check the deadlines. You will need to send the documents to find out uh, um, about the program, uh, study plan as well, and so on. But uh, it's also possible for you to, to be as a free mover. In this way, uh, you also... Uh, need to prove everything with your academic supervisor and the study office because um, if you are a free mover, uh, you will be also you will also have uh, the official status of the exchange student. So yes, but unfortunately, you will pay for for your study at the host university. Okay, so um, do you have any uh, questions? Um, uh, uh, one second. Mm -hmm. Um,
So do you have any questions um, about the documents, about the deadlines? Um, if so, it's a high time to ask them. Okay, so um, if you have uh, any questions, you can send us uh, via email or book a Zoom consultation. So we will be happy to answer all your questions. Um, and um, the second part will be about the double degree uh, programs, but we have 10 minutes and um, I will just end this conference and start uh, the same conference again. So please uh, join us and uh, listen about our double degree programs. Okay. Okay.